everybody. I'm Roger Lodge, and welcome to Blind Day, where love is a funny thing. We guarantee it. And today, we'll once again open our Project Blind Date files to see if we can help someone find an everlasting love. You don't want to miss that. But first, we'll meet Melissa and David. Now, Melissa says she loves intelligent men. She also loves food, but she can't cook a lick. Well, her date David is a smart guy and a chef. Need I say more, people? I work in a molecular biology lab. I think men have a crazy notion of me. When I tell them that I work in molecular biology, you know, I think that scares them. But I'm all about right now being entertained by guys. That's really my main purpose. I just want to go out and have a good time. I've always cooked my own meals for myself and my family as long as I can remember. My specialty now as a chef that I'm developing is ways to make very creative and very delicious but also very healthy food. You know, I'm looking for someone that is well balanced, that I can have a good time with, that I can share my life with. Nice to meet you. Nice to I'm meet Melissa. you. I'm Melissa, I'm David. Hey, David. You're stunning. Thank you. Nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> kind of gloomy out today. It is. I was hoping for a sunnier day. What brought you to LA? I'm, I'm a chef by profession. You're a chef? Yeah. That's a good reaction. That's All great. Right. I can't cook. I'm not very domestic. Um, I work in molecular biology. I don't do, like, cooking or... I don't know. I'm just not good at it. I can bake sometimes. Molecular I put my mind biology. In. Yeah. So you're an intellectual. Sort of. Fantastic. Well, yeah, you ever go scuba diving? No, but I want to learn. I oh, went skydiving a few, well, oh, really? a few weeks ago, yeah. It was amazing. Most a fun I've ever ago. had, yeah. Well, I thought about trying it, and it was actually <laughs> offered to me once, but... Uh, oh, you have to go. I Everyone kinda, I kind of chickened out. ...to go. Before you die, you have to go. When you're done, you feel like you've had maybe 10 orgasms because you're just, like, shaky, and you're like, ah, oh, and all your muscles are aching, and it was just fabulous. I thought that we could always go to a restaurant. That's easy. But what I'd really like to do is cook you dinner at my house. How's that sound? Nice. All right, all right. Let's talk about what you want to have for dinner, then. Something out of your head. What do you like? Something spicy. Something spicy. Exactly. That's what I was thinking, too. See? Um, let's do a... Uh, let's do a pad thai with some grilled shrimp. I can tell you know all about food. You just don't like to cook it. Exactly. But that's okay, because I do... Good team, then, huh? You know, I work in a laboratory, and the only thing that grosses me out, I've seen a lot of gross stuff. The only thing that grosses me out are eyeballs, and that's disgusting. Mm -hmm. And eyeballs. Well, you, uh, when I was in Thailand, we would do uh, fresh squid on the beach. We buy it by the pound. They catch it that day, and they bring it in on the beach, and they throw the entire squid on the grill. Uh. That's the only time I've ever eaten eyeballs. Yeah, you ate eyeballs? They were creepy, but they didn't taste bad. <laughs> they were, they I like, had to do it. What is it? What's the texture? I, had, I, had I need to, try to know the once. texture. You won't like the texture. Yeah. Seriously, you won't. So when was the last time you were on a date? Actually, a few nights ago, I had a date. Mm -hmm. Um, but I just kind of met him there, so it wasn't, I don't know if it's all very official, but when was the last time you were on a date? Um, it's like two months ago. Sort of close to when I first came out here. But, uh, she, she wasn't for me. That's for sure. What does that mean? Hmm? What does that mean? Legendary? It just means that she was, I, I don't know. She's kind of, she was kind of a jerk. Oh. I like somebody that's, a, she was just very cold. I probably learned a lot about um, science that I didn't know before. It was always my favorite yeah. subject in school, you know. Really? Science. Oh, yeah, always. Oh, perfect. I just can't get this stove hot enough. 
That's why I hate electric stoves. I have a gas stove. Really? That I don't use, yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, next time it's, it's dinner at your place, then. Sure, if you're cooking. cooking. Oh, I'm always cooking. Perfect. All right. And that's it, just as simple as that. I'm going to plate this up so we're ready to eat. I'm going to get ready for dinner. Great. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's really good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. After one bite? Mm-hmm. That's all it takes. You like to drink? I do. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like to drink, well, a lot of girls that I know like to drink because they feel like they can do things I can't when they're sober mm -hmm. or something, but I mean, everything I do drunk, I would do sober. Have you ever been in love before? Yeah, yeah, I was in love once. So how about you, Melissa? Have you ever been in love? Yes. Yeah? Once, just like you, once. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was five years. Five years? Mm -hmm. Wow, like and you're 25. Year. You weren't just recently off of a five-year relationship, like really recently? <laughs> right, yeah, you sound, a, you sound like it's an affliction or something. No, I'm just, not at all. It's just like, I kind of know where you're at right now, and I remember when I was at that point. But being single is kind of fun. Um, I haven't been single for five years. That's hot. Yeah. That's right. I had fun tonight. I had fun too. Cool. This is fantastic. Okay. I like the fact that that you're very spontaneous, and any sort of situation that we've been in all day, you've put a completely lighthearted twist on. And I could use that in every moment of my life, <laughs> ever, all the time. Wow, thank you. Well, I had a blast. I had a wonderful time with you as well. <laughs> Melissa, it was so good meeting you. Good to meet you. And I'll see you again. Okay. Be safe. Good night. Oh, we had her eating right out of his souffle pan. Tasty. Post a comment on the way. Oh, that's clever. Up. Welcome back. We just tagged along with Melissa and David. And it looks like his chef training came in pretty handy. I mean, let's face it, the guy proved he knows his way around the stove. Let's see where these two are going from here. My first impression of David was he looked like a nice guy. When I first met Melissa, as soon as she turned around and I said hello to her, she was stunningly gorgeous. David fed me. David made me laugh. I mean, what more can you ask for? I felt very comfortable with her, and she's just the sort of person that I'm looking for right now. I kissed David because it felt right, and it was fun. I would love a second date with Melissa. I feel like our chemistry worked very well together. I would definitely invite David to cook at my place if I don't have to do too much. He can use my stove and my oven. That's fine, and I'll sit back and watch. Uh, some advice to you single guys out there. Learn how to cook quickly.